Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoy the content. I'll see you later. Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another Agito Live video. This time, we're gonna be talking about the 2.2 story for Honkai Star Rail. Now, I just finished it. I just completed a nine, my stream just crashed so I can't look at it. It was roughly almost 10 hours of streaming. The quest, I, my recording was about eight hours and 30 minutes. The quest was really long. Yes, I had some talking tangents throughout it, um, but honestly, it was very, very long and there was parts where it was kind of a slog, uh, but I'll get into that in just about a moment. I'm just gonna have this, this is the screen that's gonna be up here. So uh, be ready, for, I guess, spoilers. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. I'm just gonna, there's tons of spoilers, okay? So I'm gonna try to break this down into as straightforward a thought process as I can possibly get across. Right out the gate, for those who don't wanna watch the whole video on like what I felt about um, Pentagoni or what I felt about 2.2, uh, off the back, I give it like a solid six out of ten. I think about it about two hours ago, three hours ago, I probably would have said maybe like a nine out of ten. But honestly, as I got closer and closer to the end, it just got worse and worse. Um, and the spectacle of the last big fight really doesn't make up for how utterly terrible the pacing was. So, um, yeah. So if that's all you're here for, there you go. Uh, six out of 10, it was okay. Um, now to actually get into the nitty gritty of, uh, hello stranger, welcome to the stream, to get into the nitty gritty of how I feel about like each part or each character, let's start with Robin. Um, I really like her character. Um, I like the concepts and stories of what we got with her like the idea that she went to the front lines to fight and was like doing trying to sing doing songs for people and delivering medical supplies and doing very altruistic harmonizing work very cool very very interesting facet of her character that she is willing to stand up and fight for what she believes in like it's great awesome fantastic if a little mm, done before like it just the singing princess who also will go to the front line like i don't know it just maybe i'm a little jaded on that but i didn't dislike it in the context that they did it well. Uh, so that's a cool story. I think that was a good, to transition, motivation for Sunday as a character. I think I he was probably my favorite character of this storyline, uh, of this patch, because we learned a lot of, as much as we learned about Rob, we learned a lot about Sunday and his, his views, his religious views, clearly religious views, the, um, the way order works and like all of those stuff. Very, very interesting stuff. And sparked a lot of philosophical, like, and, you know, decent conversation in my chat, which you will see when I start uploading uh, the videos. Lots of, lots of good conversation. The problem, I'm not, not the problem. Lots of good conversation, and I think, I think his character was really well done. I think you can empathize, but also understand that he definitely is going down the wrong thought process. Like, he's gone too far. And um, I'm super interested to see him become a playable character in the future. So, and see what he does as a Harmony character. If he's a harmony character, I would assume he would be. Um, so, yeah, I, I think they were both like solid pieces in the story, and they had to and Sunday had to carry it. One of the conversations we had at one point is like how intimidating he actually is because he's just a very charismatic character who really believes what he's saying, and I think the voice actor did a really good job of letting that come across. Um, so it's good, good stuff, and um. Robin's songs throughout it were really good. Those songs in the last fight were really good. The song in general in the last fight was really good. And that was that was pretty great. Next character, uh Gallagher. Kind of a whatever character, honestly. Still kind of a whatever character from from before. I'm not I'll be honest, I'm a little confused as like what the whole Mikhail, his story, all that stuff is just kind of like whatever. Right? It's it's there. I know it's important, but I kinda of just don't care. Like it just there's so many stories and so many things going on. I still just don't care about that aspect of Gallagher storyline like he's cool I guess but whatever and the Mikhail Misha thing and like the past trailblazers I also uh, welcome back to the stream back shot welcome back to the stream uh see splash um 
the past Trailblazer stuff was a little confusing at first, but eh, it was cool. Like, you know, we're, we're falling back on their paths to, to solve things. And that's really all I can say about it because we don't really know too much. And honestly, we don't even know if what we learned is true. Cause that's, and that's another thing I'll get into in a minute. Um, I think the uh, the crew was really cool during all of this, but again, it comes back to we don't really know what parts of these are true. But they're acting the way they were acting. Uh, I think Daniel's parts were really cool. Boot Hill was super fun in the story. I love Boot Hill as a character. I love his character. I love his personality. Absolutely fantastic. I love the sorry the cyborg Nazi hunter cowboy character. Um, really good stuff. I. Um, If the part with him with the Galaxy Ranger bullet that will summon Galaxy Rangers, let's forget about the Cloud Knights kind of thing. That part didn't really have anything that came to fruition. I guess I feel like it just it just feels again a little again romanticized and and like kind of like Black Swan says romanticized and all this other stuff. Um, it didn't really come anything of it. I don't actually even remember it coming up in between Akron's conversation with the dude. So I don't know. It's a little. There's a lot of the problem. So. Acheron's character was fine in this. Black Swan's character, like everybody's characters were fine. The problem I have with the story right now is it's throwing so much information at you and then telling you that it was all a lie, that it wasn't real, that it was just a dream. And so now you got to do this. But then it ends with it basically being another script where it's another dream. It's not real, right? And um, I don't know if you guys watched my original two point, like two point oh story, right? There is an alternate ending to um, going with Aventurine where you can walk out the doors. And if you walk out the door, it it plays the same script thing with Elio and all this other stuff. And so when I saw that the first time, I was like, oh, this is definitely not the real ending. Like, if you watch that part of the video, I was done at that point because the something I'm going to talk about in a minute is how the pacing, right? I was done at that point, and so I just didn't care anyways, but as soon as we got to those ending scripts, I was like, yeah, this is clearly not the ending. There's gonna be more. And then the next part was like, all right, we got the crew together, we're doing all this. I was like, cool, finally, we're, we're getting to the climax of this, and it's and it's gonna be over. Um, oh, this is a cool big fight, awesome, big, big, you know, uh, we finally, you know, we bring our answer, and people fight, and we have all this dialogue, but then, like, I, I honestly felt the... Um, um, I felt the disengagement from it. Um, and I think the best way I can describe it is I feel like they're trying to tell you a story in the context of like, it's the journey that matters. So the ending doesn't matter. So they keep resetting back to a certain point in the story and then going from there, which is sort of like kind of the whole, like the aspects of the nihility in the story, I guess. But it's just not working for me. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm just dumb. But it's just not working for me. It there's they're being way too heavy handed, and they're also just throwing so much information. It's just so much. And maybe after eight hours, I'm just you know my brain is fried. But I I just wanted a conclusion, and I didn't get a conclusion um, that did not feel like an ending. And I don't think it is. I don't think it's supposed to feel like an ending, especially with the way they do the script thing again. And they give random names. They give Akron's real name, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That's the, and that's my problem is it goes back to some of the conversations we had, uh, during the story of like fear of the unknown. I don't know. Like, that's the problem. I don't know if when I log in, if the story I'm playing is actually going to complete or if I'm going to get another eight hours of what frankly feels like pointlessness. And the reason it feels like pointless is because it's not satisfying. Right. I understand the whole story is a, like the whole concept of the story is that even if everything like, like, like Acheron said, even if you would you like to live in the dream, would you would you do this, etc.? No, I'd keep trailblazing forth. I'd keep doing this, and I feel like the, it's the game being like, please hang in there. We we're, we're gonna have a great conclusion to the story. Please don't quit. That's what it feels like. Look, we're gonna reset the story again. We're gonna start you over. We're not gonna fi we're not finished. So please don't quit. I, I that's what it almost feels like. Um, I just didn't. I just did after like the la after the last five hours. I just didn't enjoy my time, like. Firefly never showed back up. Which, and in the, like, the thing is, I got so sucked into the moment, I wasn't even thinking about these things. Someone in my chat actually brought up the fact we didn't even deal with the Celeron. Yeah, we didn't even deal with the Celeron. Um, so I'm just... I'm just not satisfied. That's why I give it a 6 out of 10. It wasn't a very satisfying story. There were moments that were great, and it brought about some great conversation, which is why it gets that 6 out of 10. But nothing is finished. Everything is still all over the place. And us even becoming 
like Harmony Trailblazer didn't even feel like really earned. And maybe it's because I missed some dialogue in the area that I definitely skipped over, which was the fucking pinball section. Where I was like, because I was, I was done. I was so done at that point. The pacing, and now we're getting into the pacing. The pacing is terrible. It's so bad because it jumps from this scene to that scene to this scene to that scene to this scene to this, this heavy scene to this joking scene to this heavy scene to this joking scene. All over. It's just, it's an overload of information and like just, just stuff happening, just like constantly. Right? It's again, maybe I'm old, maybe I'm dumb. You know, I'm only 31. This, it's just, it's too, it's too much. They packed way too much in eight hours. Like, that's a long time. And they still packed a shit ton in that hour. It's the story thinks it's better than it is. That's the best way I can describe it because. When you're watching my video back, and I'm going to reference it now, you'll you'll note that I make a lot of reference to the story of Final Fantasy XIV, from um, because it ended up being a story about you know nihilism and nihility and you know all life out there eventually coming to an end and people always doing this right. Um, so it's I, I make that comparison because it's trying to tell a very similar story, right? Of uh, even even down to the like a character with winged feather like a winged feather head stuff like even down to that to the, like like the story is so similar um, that it's actually kind of crazy uh, and I mean Final Fantasy fourteen did it better I'm sure there's other games that have done similar stories better but Final Fantasy fourteen did it better and here I'm 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 going through the story and I'm just like there are times when I'm like this is just not as good and it's dialogue is so heavy and so innocuous and just and just is like whatever right um and paced so terribly that uh you just don't have it, it, it just doesn't feel right it just doesn't feel good um at all it just doesn't feel it just doesn't feel good like i'm not sad i'm not upset I'm not in, I don't like I'm not I don't care if like like Sparkles thing never came up either, right? Sparkles thing hasn't come up yet, so like there's still that like, just, there's too many things going on and too many unanswered questions after an 8-hour story that I'm like why 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 even bother? Why continue the trailblaze if this is going to be the story, you know, if I get if I get to the end of my adventure and this was the story I'm going to I'm going to have a lot of regrets about the story basically is what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to keep it in context of the game, right? Of what the game is trying to say and what it's trying to do and maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like I feel like it didn't hit the mark. At least with me. I'm sure there will be plenty of people out there who freaking love this shit and that does not make them less than me or me greater than them or me less than them or them greater than me it just means how it hits differently and what we expect out of a story and what we want out of a story and what we're getting out of it interpretation right because i think a lot of the story is very open for interpretation stuff and this just does not this just does not do it it doesn't what is this, what story patch is your most favorite um i don't really think i have a most favorite um i enjoyed the daniel stuff and the Fantilia storyline. And I mean, I really enjoyed the Don Shu stuff that they cut out from the story because it was an interesting, again, intricate intricacy of seeing a different path and seeing a different side of the story, which we are getting here at times. And I think they're doing a much better job with Sunday than they did with Don Shu because they're doing kind of the same thing. Um, not in terms of their grand plans, but in terms of the type of the character they're trying to be, like the uh, an opposition to, to, to whatever is the current like goal. Um, Well, it's kind of takes a back foot to everything for a while there. Clocky's still kind of around. Like, there's just, there's little, there's so many little bits that I think someone who's like a real lore buff of the game already and someone who wants to really deep dive can like extrapolate so much information out of this to give to people, for people to watch a lore videos and all these other things, right? But like for me, the layman player, despite the fact that I'm streaming and let's be honest, we streamers are no better than anybody else when it comes to figuring it out this stuff out and sometimes we're way worse because we're so focused on entertaining that we're not really paying attention and that may be the one of the problems although i don't have a big enough eyes for that anyways that's not the point my point is it did not land for me and 
Um, the things that did land, I think, were great. And what are, 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 are in conclusion, are Sunday, Robin, and Acheron to some extent, but Boot Hill for sure. And everything else is just kind of yay, no, uh, it just yeah, it's kind of it's kind of all over the place. So um, those are my thoughts, and maybe I'll have more thoughts again once I once I go back through the footage and I watch it all and I version out. But these are my first impressions of two point two, and what? Tell me what you thought. Let me know down below if you think that two point two was super great and super awesome. A lot of people said they were suddenly even more into Firefly than they were before. I mean, she was a kind of a non character. Like she's a character here, but I honestly feel like she was still a non character because you know, there's the cool scenes with her and Blade. She is a good. She's a good character. I, I liked Firefly. I know I didn't talk about her much because I honestly feel like she was not. I. I understand that at the end, Akron was like, but that brave girl did those things for us. And I'm like, where is she? What is going, like, what, like, you see what I'm saying? There's so many little details. There's so many details going on that you can't keep track of them all. And so some things will just fall to the wayside. So again, this is just my first impressions. These are my first thoughts. I'm rambling. I'm already at 15, 16 minutes here. So I don't want to make this too long. Cause I just, I just wanted to get it all out. And, um, yeah. So again, just let me know what you thought about 2.2. If you're super into it, you followed every little thing, you know, give me a description down below that I can read and dissect or something or point me in the direction of the next lore video of a lore channel out there for Star Rail or something along those lines because I'll probably be on the lookout because I'll be frank, I'm probably going to watch a bunch of reactors and find out, see if they notice anything that I didn't notice because there's probably a ton of things and they care about things differently than that. I'll probably watch a lot of the Honkai people who are super into this stuff because of all the, the, the connections there, you know, we have another ride in May, all this other stuff, right? So I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm disappointed, but I'm also not like I'm not like where I was in Genshin, where I'm like I don't want to play this game anymore because the story is getting ridiculous and I just don't care anymore. Like I just don't care about the gameplay. I just don't care about that. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to do this story on my alts and click through it without a skip button. With that thought, I will see you guys next time. Later.